Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied what is interrupt and how to enable external interrupt function. In today video I will show you how to enable timer zero interrupt function. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Enabling and disabling an interrupt function. All interrupts function are disabled by default, meaning that none will be responded to by the microcontroller if they are activated. The interrupts must be enabled by software in order for the microcontroller to respond to them. The intcon register is responsible for enabling and disabling the interrupts function. Here is intcon register. GIE, global interrupt enable bit. PEIE, Peripheral Interrupt Enable Bit TMR0, TMR0 Overflow Interrupt Enable Bit INT, External Interrupt Enable Bit RBIE, Port Change Interrupt Enable Bit TMR0 IF, Timer 0 Overflow Interrupt Flag Bit INTF, External Interrupt Flag Bit RBIF, RB Port Change Interrupt Flag Bit we will enable the GIE global enable interrupt function and we will enable the TMR0 interrupt function. Project, how to enable timer zero interrupt function. In this project I will show you how you can display numbers on seven segments display using timer zero interrupt function. Segments A to G of the display are connected to port C of the microcontroller through 190 ohm current limiting resistors and the microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC 16F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port C is interfaced with 7 segment display. And we are using common anode type 7 segment display. All segments are connected with microcontroller through a current limiting resistor. And the value of the resistors is 190 ohm. And common pin is interfaced with positive supply. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal and 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC.
Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will paste it here. Now I will define you the code. Unsigned char code 10. This line define data type. Char. Array named. Code. And it has total 10 elements. 0x79, 0x24, 0x30, 0x19, 0x12, 0x02, 0x78, 0x00, 0x10, and 0x40. Unsigned char. Number. Define variable named number. Void ms delay. Unsigned char. Time. Here is function of delay with variable name time. Unsigned int. Y, Z. Define variable named Y and Z. 4. Y equals 0. Y less than time. And increment Y. For loop for delay. Z equals 0. Z less than 500. And increment Z. For loop for delay. Void interrupt vector. Here is interrupt function. 4. Number equals 10, number greater than 0 and decrement the number. Port C equals code. Number. This line find the code and send that data to port C. MS delay 250. After that call delay. This delay decide how long we want to show number on 7 segment display. Whenever microcontroller will receive timer zero interrupt signal, it will come in interrupt vector. And perform counting. After that it will load. Initial value into timer zero. TMR zero equals 100. Int con dot T zero IF equals zero and clear timer zero interrupt flag. This flag must be clear in software otherwise microcontroller generate another interrupt function. Void main. Main function. Main code start from here. TRISC equals 0x00. Define port C as output port. Port C equals 0xff. Clear port C. It will turn off all segments. Int con equals 0xA0. Enable global interrupt and timer 0 interrupt function. Option REG equals 0x01. Prescaler is assigned to the timer 0, prescaler rate 1 colon 4. TMR 0 equals 100. Load initial value into timer 0. While 1. Stay here. You can see microcontroller is stay here doing nothing, but still it will response to the interrupt signal and perform counting on 7 segment display. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see 7 segment display decreasing counting on it. And microcontroller is stay here doing nothing but when it will receive the timer zero interrupt it will perform the counting on seven segments display. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.